Hi, Rick here, and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to verify a download of Daedalus Wallet software using the PGP signature and software used to verify the signature is correct. There are many ways of doing this procedure. There's uh, different recommendations, different types of software for people doing it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick strictly to how this procedure is performed using the instructions on the DaedalusWallet.io website because the instructions are very clear, they work, they're very easy to use, and they're also easy to access. They're right there on the web page while you're actually performing the download procedure. I'm going to do two versions of this video, one for Mac and one for Windows. And I'm just going to change the middle of the video. Um, it's going to have the same introduction and the same ending, but you have two separate videos for each operating system. So let's get started. For Mac OS X verification of the IOHK keys on Daedalus, I'm going to start by launching Safari, go to DaedalusWallet.io, verify I'm on the correct web page, HTTPS, DaedalusWallet.io. Select Downloads, and go to the instructions, we're going to follow the instructions on the web page for verify signature. Step 1, obtain both the Daedalus installer.pkg file and its corresponding .pkg.asc signature file, put them in the same directory. That's here, download Daedalus first. When that download is complete, I'm going to download PGP signature. When that download is complete, both files are in the downloads directory, they need to be in the same directory. Now I'm going to go back to the steps. Step two, if you already have the GPG suite installed and personal key generated, please skip to step five, and if not, proceed with the next step. We're going to proceed with the next step. You go to HTTPS, gpgtools.org, and download the DMG file and install it. Here's the GPG suite. Download the file. And that download is now complete. Now I'm going to tile my windows so we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to go back to the steps. Verify signature. So what we've done so far is downloaded three files. Dayless installer package, the signature package.asc, and GPG tools. And here they are in the finder window in the same directory. The next part of step three is right click the DMG file, then open, which open a new window, two icons, install and uninstall. Right click open. Install, uninstall. Right click the install icon and choose open with installer, which will start the GPG suite installer. Right click, open with, installer. Follow through the installation wizard. The installation wizard completes. Step four, once GPG suite installation completes, it will ask you to create a new key pair. This is required for step six, so please don't skip it. Here's the window asking me for a new key pair. Enter your information required to generate a new key and select generate key. Once the key is generated, you have an option to upload public key or not. I'm going to pass for now. Then I go to step five. Step five, import the IOHK key using the GPG keychain application. Select key. Look up key on key server in the application menu. So I go to the menu and select key. Look up key on key server. And I'm going to search for signing authority at iohk.io. So I'm going to copy it, paste it into the search bar, and select search.
The next part of step five says, choose the key with the fingerprint, Charlie Bravo Foxtrot Alpha Alpha 9 Bravo Alpha with the user ID, IOHK signing authority, then click retrieve key. So I'm going to select that key here. I'm going to deselect the development key and select retrieve key. Import successful. Select OK. The next part of step five says verify by right clicking the import key then details that the fingerprint of the imported key is, and it gives the number delta 325 etc. ends in alpha 9 bravo alpha. So right click, details. The number shown here with the fingerprint delta 325 etc. alpha 9 bravo alpha and it matches down below. And I'm just visually verifying that all of the numbers actually match. The remainder of step 5 says, if it's not, the wrong key was imported, right click and delete. If it is, we are good to proceed with the next step. The key is good, so we can proceed with the next step. Step 6 says, sign the imported IOHK key. This designates trust and is required for the next step. So let me clean up my display a little. Back to step 6, sign the imported IOHK key. This designates trust and is required for the next step. Right click on the imported IOH key, then sign. Right click, sign. A new window pops up that says by signing this key, you confirm the identity of the key owner with the key fingerprint, and it's the same number that we confirmed earlier. It belongs to them. That's IOHK, and I hit sign. I enter my password that I made when I created the key. it says signing successful. At this point I'm done with the GPG keychain window. I'm going to minimize it and go to the finder. Now we go to step 7. Verify the installer binary. Right click the ALIS installer PKG file and finder. Do not right click the ASC file. That will not work. Then select services, open PGP, verify signature of the file. The ASC file must be in the same directory and it is. So I'm going to go to the install installation file, right click, select services, open PGP, verify signature file. Upon selection, that performs the verification process and produces the verification results. We now have a valid signature. This is what we're looking for. It's signed by IOHK signing authority. Full trust is lit green. We are now good to go and finished with the procedure. You can now safely install Daylist knowing that it's a signed software by IOHK. The very last step, anything else means there was no valid signature for the installer. We can now proceed to install Daedalus. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something from it. I know I certainly did just by going to the website and performing the procedures. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to click like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching Digital Fortress. Have a great day. Bye-bye.